Then three, two, one. Hopefully. It's always, you sit here and wait for it. And then it goes, oh, hey, look, there it is. <laughs> hey, guys, and welcome back to CETV. Uh oh, I think I just messed it up. Yep, there it goes. Hey, guys, welcome back to CETV. Um, this is your DM, Alex, and I'm coming to you live from Comic Emporium. Um, I'm going to go over all the cool stuff that came in this week, talk about some events that are coming up, and also uh, go over uh, one of my, I guess, uh, epiphany moments this week, which just shook me to my core, and I can't believe I didn't know this, as big as a fan as I am. So, first, let's go over all the new cool stuff. All right, we got crewmates. And we've got Sailor Moon plushies, and we've got um, all the different types. We've got the all the sailors. We've got uh, the uh, all the cats, and of course we've got all kinds of different colors of crewmates. So if you are looking for some new plushies, or if you missed out on the last round of crewmates, we've got them in. And also this week we received our new LARP uh, supplies. We have um, new cloaks, new capes. And we also received in, uh, finally, a restock on our elf ears. So if you were looking for elf ears, we have them finally back in stock. Uh, really easy, really fun to play with, uh, especially if you're building up any sort of fantasy cosplay. Um, also this week, uh, it's on sale as of today, we have our Pokemon partner packs. This is the Sinnoh region partner packs. It comes with a jumbo card and two of our booster packs. Uh, so if you were looking for those, they are limited one per person. So if you're wanting to grab those, you need to come in while we've got them. Uh, the supplies are going pretty quick. As you already know, when it comes to Pokemon, if you don't grab it on the weekend that comes out, you're probably not going to get it until we get a restock. Uh, nothing's changed. We're still, if you're wanting to get it, you got to come in. Uh, I wish I could hold a bunch, but if I did that, I, I just end up having a whole bunch on hold. So anyways, come on in and grab those while you can. Board games. Uh, we have the Dragon Ball Z edition of Monopoly, and if you are wanting to see if Goku can own, you know, all the different squares and take out uh, Vegeta, uh, well, he probably can. He's got plot armor. But anyways, we also have the Monopoly right. game, so you can try it out and see uh, see for yourself. Uh, we have restocked Kill Dr. Lucky. If you're not familiar with this game, the object is, like the title says, to kill Dr. Lucky. However, it's been 65 years and he's got that name for a reason because nobody seems to be able to do it. Maybe you and your partners might be able to do it or maybe your partners are going to do it before you can. The only way to find out is to try and kill Dr. Lucky. We received the Naruto Ninja Arena, and this comes. This is the complete set because it comes with the Genjin pack. Um, so, if, or I'm uh, sorry, Genin pack. And um, if you were wanting to find out who's going to win in a fight between Sakura and um, I don't know, we'll, we'll say uh, Sasuke. Uh, it's probably going to be Sasuke. But you've got you, you've got the Ninja Arena to prove that maybe once and for all, Sakura is the greatest of all the Genin. Now, I think I've covered all of the cool stuff that came in. We also restocked on Warhammer and on Warhammer Paints. Um, we also did a restock on Dice. Uh, we now have the 36 counts of the uh, D6s. So if you are getting ready to go to Pensacola for one of the big Warhammer events, or if you're going down to Orlando and you are wanting to throw that coffee can of dice, we've got the D6s. They are behind the counter here. Um, come get them while we've got them. And other than that, uh, let's talk about events. So this Sunday at 6 p.m. is the board game night. It's the monthly event where you guys come in, bring your favorite board games, or um, come and play whatever is being brought in. Uh, we're going to probably start off like usual with a social game, something like uh, Werewolf or possibly Coup or you know whatever everybody wants to play. And then after that, we'll go into whatever is new. Uh, whatever anybody wants to play. Uh, last last month uh, we played uh, Terraforming Mars, and so uh, yeah, if you're wanting to get in on board game night, that's going to be this Sunday. It's starting at six o'clock. It ends at eight thirty, so it's only two and a half hours. It gives you something to do on a Sunday night, and hopefully we get you home before too late, so that uh, you're not uh, staying up too late before you got to go to work on Monday. Now, uh, we also, at the end of the month, we will continue to have our Geek Trivia Contest and our Paints and Pints. All of those events are, are listed on the Facebook page, of course, and if you are wanting to um, participate, you can just uh, come in and sign up for them or uh, message us, of course, on uh, Facebook so we can put you down. Uh, remember, on the Geek Trivia this month, the theme is Sci-Fi Trivia. 
So that, again, can be, of course, Star Wars, Star Trek, the big two, but we're also going to cover things like Battlestar Galactica, uh, Red Dwarf, um, Dune even. Uh, we've got a lot of sci-fi out there, so don't restrict your knowledge. Start studying up. Uh, we'll have prizes again as well. And again, this is a free event. This is something that Comic Emporium is doing just to give all of our expert subject matter uh, in geek things, you know, some place to come and strut their stuff. Uh, paints and Pints, uh, once again, this is just a come in and sit around and paint your minis. And I know you because you're like me and you've got a bunch of stuff that you're procrastinating on and you're going, well, I'm going to paint that, but you never do. Unless, of course, you have a reason to, and this is your reason to. Come bring all your armies, come bring your character minis, come bring whatever it is that you need to get painted. Let's come on in and we'll sit around and we'll joke and tell stories and we'll paint stuff and we'll actually get some things accomplished. Especially if, you, like I said if, uh, earlier, if you're going to one of those big events, you know you got to get your army painted uh, if you want to uh, make sure you keep all your points. Um, and then, let me see. Okay, so the epiphany moment, guys. All right, I... I feel like sometimes I let myself down because uh, I feel like I should be a subject matter expert when it comes to certain things in the comic shop. Masters of the Universe is one of those things. I grew up in the 80s. If you're a child of the 80s, you know who He-Man who He Man is. I mean, it was a staple of Saturday morning. He-Man, Ninja Turtles, G.I. Joe. You know that you should know this stuff. However, what I missed was that they were doing a Netflix series on He-Man. Now... I understand there are a lot of, uh, it's, it's a divided issue because everybody saw what they did with She-Ra. Some people were all for it and some people were hating on it and were afraid that He-Man's going to go the same way. Well, Masters of the Universe, if you haven't seen the trailer, you got to go check it out. It will blow your mind because, and this is the only way I think that it could be done justice, it is being produced and written by Kevin Smith. Now, if that name means nothing to you, you need, you need I don't even know where to begin, but you need to go look up everything Kevin Smith. I mean, uh, just ev everything. Uh, it's all fantastic. He's a fantastic writer, and he is, at his core, um, one of us. You know, he has his own comic book shop. And so, uh, so he's in charge of Masters of the Universe, and this week we dropped the Masters of the Universe comic prequel to the Netflix series. I, I just couldn't believe my, I was like, I, how did I not know about this, you know? Um, and we had a lot of people, I was like, did you know about this? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, where was I? Like, what have I been doing? Apparently, I have not been paying attention. And for that, I should be put into prison or something less, uh, le less, yeah, anyways, just less. Um, so, yeah. So, if you're a big fan, you should check out the comic. Um, I've already sold out. I'm going to get some more. Uh, just come in and place an order, and I'll see if I can get some back orders in for you guys. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think I've covered nearly everything. Um, yeah. So, uh, once again, just a reminder, we've got the plushies, we've got the board games, we've got a restock on all our Warhammer paints and supplies, uh, and uh, we've got the uh, board game night this coming Sunday. That's two days from today. We've got the Paints and Pints, the Geek Trivia, which is going to be sci-fi. Uh, oh, and if you guys are looking for D&D games, and I know that there are many of you out there that are looking for a D&D game, um, I want to remind you that you can reserve a table on Saturdays. you got to come in and actually write it down, because we won't do that for you. you got to come into the store, write down that you're reserving a table for your group and for what time. And um, you can set up your own D&D game. Uh, we are looking to see if we can get a third D&D group here on Saturdays because we have one table that is just not being used. Um, and, you know, there, I know that there are people out there who want to play. So if we've got a DM out there that wants to come and run a game, I'm, I promise you, you will fill your table the moment that you advertise it. Um, so if you're looking to be a player, uh, that's a little bit harder because the groups that we already have here are already full and, um, you know, because that's what happens. But uh, if you're wanting to play, and it doesn't matter what edition, if it's D&D, Pathfinder, Starfinder, if you want to play one of the, uh, like, um, Altered Carbon, Dune, uh, which is another thing that dropped this week. The Dune RPG uh, actually released this week. We've got the core rulebook for that. Um, and so if you're wanting to play any of that, there is a table open, but you got to come reserve it because uh, it's going to be first come, first serve. So uh, other than that, guys, I don't have anything else for you. 
sounds like the Emperor and his uh, right hand Sith Lord has just arrived. So uh, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, this is DM Alex. I appreciate all the comments, the feedback. I appreciate all you guys coming in and visiting me and letting me know that you watch the stream and how much you enjoy it. And so uh, I will see you soon. Um, again, this is your DM Alex at Comic Emporium, and this is me signing off.